Hello there, Lynx here, and welcome to a game from... No, actually, a P project. From Saki Visual. And we played a few of their games as well, of course, in the past. And, well, this was released before those games. We played Kansei, you say, you say. Uh, I think we played something else as well, but... Uh, I mean, like, on the spot, I can't really remember. Anyway, this is Ripples, this is also from them. Let's check it out. That's fancy artwork. There is something about people that just rubs me the wrong way. I mean, understandable. I think it started in grade school. Our teacher blew up a balloon, wrote self-esteem on the side and taped it to the wall. What? She explained to us that we were all like the balloon. If we didn't have any self-esteem, we would only be limp and small and sad. Uh, I guess. Everyone else seemed really inspired, but it didn't click very well with me. Watching that balloon on the wall deflate a little bit each day until it withered away, I felt that self-esteem didn't do much other than make people falsely large for a little while. Makes sense. Let's get into it. But no one else seemed to notice. Everyone kept going along their short little lives, poofed up with their self-esteem getting smaller and smaller each day. What I hate the most are those idealistic people who think they can change the world. Behind all, all of those grand ideas for a better life, I think they are just desperate to be remembered. Desperate to keep their withering balloons filled so they can feel important. I mean, there is something. I mean, it would be nice to be remembered, right? But things never change. No matter how hard you fight, it hardly makes a difference. One person's life is just a drop in a bucket. A lot of people think I'm a real pessimist because I think this way, but it doesn't really bother me at all. It's easier to live life if I don't have to worry about changing the world. That way I can just concentrate on what I want, like my photography. The pictures I take will last a lot longer than I ever will. Not like it matters. All I ever photograph is nature. Things that will be the same until the end of time. I mean, nature also kinda changes. I had photographic people. I had people who leap into my view and prance around and wave their arms, desperate to be captured on film so they'll be remembered. Ah, uh, understandable. I mean, at least back in the day. Like, even that you have this type of camera, this is definitely not a digital one, I believe. Uh, but you have a film, right? So, basically, there's limited amount of pictures you can take. I understand why that would piss you off then, because it would be basically a waste of a film. Uh, film roll, right? Now it doesn't really matter. Now we can uh, beep, delete and go on, right? There is no way I will ever capture such worthless thing on fi things on film. When people die, they're gone. <laughs> and that's fine. <laughs> oh my god, this line is broken. Thanks, internet. Thanks, fate. <laughs> the city I live in isn't very large. But there are so many places hidden away that I always find something new whenever I explore. Oh, Today is this place, a small park ticked away between a row of trees and an old school building. There doesn't seem to be much here worth photographing, but at least there aren't any people either. I aim my camera at a nearby bush to check the lighting. It's late afternoon, but the sun is still high enough for me to get some decent shots. What's that sound? What's that sound? Something behind the bush is moving. I creep forward, holding my camera in front of me as if it would actually provide a decent shoot. Should that something leap out of at me? Considering how much this camera cost, I'd probably better off if I just took the hit. It's a girl. What is she doing here? Is she crying? I take an uncertain step back. If some girl is using this place as her secret crying spot, I want no part of it. But the sound of crying sounds more like... Cats? That is voiceover, yes. The girl looks up at me, called me, and I realize that she's patting a small kitten on the head. Two more kittens are rolling around with each other on the ground beside her. They must be the source of the crying I heard. Uh, hey. I'm limited to narrating. Sorry to bother you. I'm just gonna go. Yeah. You're not a bother. Stay. <clears throat> The kitten that she's patting yawns lazily and paws at her hands. Oh, here you go. She pulls out the cookie and holds it above the kitten's mouth. Is it a good idea for? 
cookie to a cat? I mean... I'm not sure if that's a good idea. It reaches up and bats the cookie with its paw before clamping the cookie firmly between its tiny teeth. What are you feeding them? Cookies. I baked them myself this morning. She's cute. But is it a good idea? Can cat eat cat eat a cookie for? Sure seems like a waste to give that to a bunch of cats. No, it's worth it. They're just gonna die anyway, you know? Strays rarely live long in the streets. Ooh, wow. Dude. The attitude. Seems like he's not like, you know, I don't like people, just about people. So? So why bother feeding them? <sighs> They're hungry. Do we need any more reason than that? I guess not. But why cookies? Because they're the only ones who will eat it? Ah! What? <laughs> I'm sorry. I have to be home soon. Ah! <laughs> they're the only <laughs> She gives the kid and her arms a phone pat on the head before leaving. She didn't even say goodbye to me. I'm not sure whether or not I should be offended, but I guess it doesn't really matter. The kittens swarm around my feet and I kneel down to take a few pictures of them. Oh, but it's already getting too dark to get an innocent shot. At least, not with this camera. I guess I won't be taking many pictures today after all. I don't know why I came back here. I keep telling myself it's just for photographies. I didn't get any good shots yesterday, but I'm pretty sure I'm just lying to myself. Ah, you came back. I just want us to take a couple pictures. Mm-hmm. I'll get out of the way then. I stop a few half-hearted shots, but I keep glancing at her and all the kittens swarming around her. What are you feeding them today? Hmm, I guess you could call them donuts. Huh? Did you make those too? Sure did, this morning before school. I had to get up early to make them. Why? Well, it don't need time to rise properly, you see. That's not what I meant. Oh? Then what? Why work so hard just to make food for a bunch of cats? I told you, it's because they eat it. Mm. I've always loved baking, you know? The best thing about it is being able to share with others. There was a point in time when I wanted to own my own bakery. So? Last year, for a class project, I baked muffins for the entire class. I think I know where this is going. I woke up early so they'd be fresh, and I filled them with the best ingredients I could afford. I wanted them to be something special. Except no one liked them. A lot of girls wouldn't even try them, claiming they had strict diets. I was so happy when some boys took a couple, but then they just threw them at each other. Bastards. I even gave some to the teachers who seemed to appreciate it, but at the end of the day, I found them in the trash. Well, yeah, people never appreciate things they're supposed to. Working so hard for them is a waste of time. Maybe. Mm -hmm. After school, I came here. I wanted to cry, but these little guys came and cheered me up. I fed them the rest of the muffins and they ate them without hesitation. Ever since then, I've brought them something every day. As a way of saying thanks. Thanks for what? For being happy when they eat my food. What I like more than anything else is seeing people smile when they eat what I bake. Uh-huh. I want to cheer people up and make the world a better place. That's stupid. Mm. Stupid? Cheering people up is pointless. They'll just get depressed again anyway, and then they die. Jesus, this guy! Do you really think that? Um, yeah. I see. That's awfully nihilistic of you. Don't tell me you're gonna go all philosophy on me. No. Well, I have to get going. I'll see you tomorrow. What? <laughs> My name is Ku, and you are? Coda. Then I'll see you tomorrow, Coda. Don't count on it. Of course. He will be there. She smiles fondly at me and leaves. Again, the kittens turn their attention to me, but I don't bother taking the pictures of them. 
This place is so boring and it's much too dark anyway. Even if I didn't get many shots today, I don't think I'll be coming back here. Then why I'm here? Yet somehow. Hello, Koda. You're only here to take pictures, right? Yeah, the ones I developed yesterday weren't very good. Mm-hmm. You develop your photos? She sounds genuinely surprised. For some reason, I feel a little victorious. Digital is too easy. There's no fun in it anymore. It makes you sloppy, too, since you can afford to make mistakes. Yeah. I see. This is for you. She hands me a small plastic bag tied with a ribbon. What is it? Cookies. You want some, right? What makes you think that? You came back, didn't you? With we'll sigh, I open the package. I'm greeted with the sweet smell of cinnamon. Oh, not cinnamon and chocolate. I take a bite of one. It's actually quite good. For a moment, I wonder why anyone would even think to dislike the girls, this girl's cooking. But I guess that's just the nature of people. I'm sorry. What? You're not smiling. It must not be very good. That's not it. I'm just a bit angry that people don't appreciate your baking. And boom! He throw her heart. You shouldn't be. If you think it tastes good, then smile. Why are you trying so hard to get me to smile? You don't look like a happy person. <laughs> her honesty is like an arrow to my heart. That's really none of your business. It is if you keep coming here to see me. <laughs> I didn't say I was coming here to see you. You didn't have to. Besides, it doesn't matter. I'll just be depressed again tomorrow anyway. <laughs> then I'll bring you more cookies tomorrow. <clears throat> Do you really want to see me smile that badly? I want to see everyone smile. Ah, <sighs> Another impossible dream. This is why I hate people so much. You don't like people? Of course not. They always ruin things. How so? They leap into pictures when I don't want them to, or obsess over how they look as if it really makes a difference. I can't stand it! They're all so annoying. Am I annoying? Ooh. Uh. 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 Optimus, that could have always gravitated me, but there's something about her straightforward honesty that's actually really refreshing! I don't know. <sighs> she giggles and turns back to the kittens patting one of them fondly on the head. Fair enough. Yeah. It's not that you're annoying or anything, it's just... Just... I strain my mind trying to figure out how to explain my feelings. I just don't like people who think they can change the world. Wow. Why not? But because it's dumb. One person's life is just a drop in a bucket, after all. You don't really believe that. Yes, I do. It's better than believing that I actually change anything. Then why are you here? Mm. What? You want to believe it, but you're just afraid to. You're afraid that you can't make a difference, so you don't try. That's not... Uh, she got you. I can't actually bring myself to deny her statement. Koda. Yeah. Even if my life is just a single drop, every drop of water leaves ripples. Ah, so that's where the title is from. She leaves before I can respond. I don't have a response anyway. Normally I'd be angry if someone tried to sell some trite, inspirational phrase to me. But this is different. She's not trying to sell me anything. It's really what she believes. Ku is so cheerful and confident, but there is nothing about her that is desperate or proofed out. She believes she can change the world with nothing more than the cookies and a smile. Honestly, I don't know if she can or not. But I do know that she manages to change me. The sun is setting and as I raise my camera to photograph it, I can't help but wonder what she'll bring me tomorrow. Maybe I should bring something for her. Maybe ask if I can take her picture. This is only the first drop. Produced by Sec Visual. Ah, uh, short nice story. And I mean, who has some truth to it? Not gonna lie. While our male character, I mean, 
I understand hating people and so on, but yeah, I mean, the girl's approach is uh, more healthy, I, I, I suppose. Anyway, that was Ripples. Hope you enjoyed this, well, more or less 15 minutes video. Uh, link to the game in the description, of course. And I'll see you in the next game. Hope you have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.